In this video, I'm going to cover what it looks like to place trades in TradingView and then manage trades on the NinjaTrader platform, specifically when it comes to copying trades across multiple accounts. So this video related to TradingView and Tradeavate accounts, again, need to purchase Tradeavate accounts with whatever prop firm you're using. And when you do that, I want to clear this up. You can connect to literally an unlimited number of Tradeavate logins with 20 accounts. So you could have your login, your brother's login, your friend's login, three logins, one NinjaTrader platform, 20 accounts each, that would be 60 accounts. You don't need to have a server to do this, okay? As long as the accounts are Tradeavate. So people like to manage these trades in TradingView. I don't recommend it, but I wanna show you a serious bug that I've resolved when doing this, so let's get into it now. So this is an issue that you guys can reproduce in your own NinjaTrader platform. What I'm gonna do is just click here and do a create new order. We're gonna sell limit above the market with a take profit and a stop loss of 20 points. I hit sell. The orders are created in TradingView and we're seeing them on NinjaTrader. Now watch what happens as I begin to move these orders. I can move my planned target. I can move my planned stop loss. I can move the planned entry. But watch what happens as I continue to move these around. Watch closely the entry. The entry moved back to its original location. Okay, we're not moving the entry in TradingView, right? The entry should be staying stationary, but what's happening is with this bug, the entry is moving around as I move a target or a stop. So here I move the stop, entry moved again. Do you see what's happening here? So it's, it's a serious bug and what happens is when you're copying trades, if you do plan your target and your stop, it's moving. NinjaTrader thinks the entry has been moved when in all actuality it hasn't. The real order, the real location of the order is always displayed right here. And I confirm this because I've looked at Tradeavate as well. So we can see the real order is now at, let's just move it, 367, right? So as I move this around, it's appearing in Ninja, the order's at 370. Order here is at 367. If you go to Trade of Eight, we can quickly see 367 right there. You saw it for a brief moment is the real location of the order. So I'm just telling you guys, serious bug. So now what I'm gonna do is open another workspace with my trade copier, duplicate account actions. I'm gonna show you guys that this issue is resolved if you're using my software if you're running my software in the background, this issue has been resolved. Now you can actually manage your targets and your stops before the entry is filled and not suffer the consequences with orders in the incorrect location on NinjaTrader. Here we have a workspace open now with the accounts dashboard window that I've created. Again, this is two products, one window. The trade copier is called duplicate account actions. The risk manager is called literally account risk manager. So it's two products built into one window for managing all your accounts. Right now the copier is on. I'm actually going to turn it off. And you can see I've got this account 435 configured as the master account with all these followers. So after we minimize this window, we're going to take a look right here. I'm going to place the same exact trade that I did before, which is a sell order with a 20 point target and a 20 point stop. Let's just hit sell. All right, now we can see these orders here in NinjaTrader. Okay, we'll begin to move these around like we did before. Let's move the target. Okay, let's move the stop. Move the stop again. Move the entry. Move the target. Move the entry. Okay, so 
You can see sometimes when you do this, watch me move the target. Did you see how the entry moved and then immediately moved back? That is the fix of resolving what's going on with some kind of a bug between TradingView and NinjaTrader that hasn't been resolved. I fixed it. If you're running the accounts dashboard, it's fixed. Now, why is that important? Because if you're gonna copy trades, you would have the wrong entry over here. If this wasn't fixed, you'd be having the wrong entry. The entry order gets moved, therefore all your follower accounts get moved, and this is the wrong entry based on what you're selecting over here in trading view. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was another video that came out about a month ago about the integration between, between trading view and um, Ninja Trader, and they walked through some of the basics that even you get through Apex of like, how to set up a trade of eight account and how to link it to trading view super easy stuff if you just follow the guide given to you by these prop firms you, you can do that in this video from the other trade copier solution it was a robotic voice let me just say this isn't a robot i'm here in the flesh solving problems and that would really really help me out if you will subscribe to the channel like this video and if you have something to say, leave a comment. What that does is it helps YouTube prioritize this content so that it goes out to more TradingView users. Thanks, you guys. Back to the dashboard, you see it's showing a warning that we're placing trades when it's turned off. Pretty cool warning. So I'll just cancel. I can do this right here. We can cancel that master account order. And now I'm going to turn the copier on and we're going to watch it copy the trades. So I'll minimize this now. We'll do the same thing. You're gonna see a couple accounts over here, copying as well. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna sell limit with a 20 point stop, 20 point target. And we've got the entry across all the accounts. Now remember, it's not gonna copy these suspended orders. The suspended orders are just for the purposes of planning, meaning the target and the stop are just suspended for the purposes of planning our target and stop once the entry is filled. I actually have this built into Ninja. It's so much easier just trading from the Ninja Trader charts. But I know a lot of people like TradingView, and so I'm working on that integration. But you can actually pre plan your trades using my software in the Ninja Trader platform in a much easier way. So as we begin to move this around, we'll see, you're gonna see things jump around. You can see the entry being quickly moved and then moved back, but you'll notice that our follower accounts also stay in sync, right? So as we move the entry, it gets moved to the right spot. The whole time, we're always in sync with what is being seen on TradingView. You guys following this? So again, it quickly moved the order and then moved it back because it was an incorrect command, some kind of a bug in the Ninja, Ninja Trader platform that they need to get resolved. Nonetheless, let's watch this again. So again, we're still at we're still at 94, even though Ninja is attempting to move it to the wrong location, the accounts dashboard is moving it back. To where it belongs so there i just actually move the entry move the stop entry moves but moves back to where it belongs at the true location based on trading view so just wanted to point this out for you guys and we can go ahead and just fill this trade so actually i'm not going to do that let's just close this out and then we'll just create a few new orders so you can you guys can see some more advanced testing. So let's just do a create new order. We'll create a sell. We're gonna sell at market with a 20 point stop and a 20 point target. So let's just hit sell. Trades copied perfectly. Let's go ahead and watch here as we manage the targets and stops in trading view. Again, commands are sent perfectly across the to the follower accounts. Again, this is the master account right here, and then these are followers. So you're seeing the master here in NinjaTrader as well. 
and I'm showing two followers on the screen. When we pull up the orders, we're gonna notice that each set has its own OCO. Again, very important because accounts can get filled separately from one another. So these do have OCOs. You can see TV stands for trading view with its own OCO specific to the set of orders for each account. So let's go ahead and close this trade. We'll just hit the close button. Again, we're, we're running everything from TradingView. That's the point in this video that you can't have confidence actually, whereas with some of my competitors' products, you can't have that confidence that it's not gonna mess up. With my product, have confidence. You can run this in TradingView and it's gonna work perfectly. So let's close this. Everything's closed perfectly. Let's try another one. How about a buy stop? Let's go ahead and create a new order. Buy, stop, same profit and target, hit buy. All right, and I'm gonna zoom in here. Bear with me, I don't, I'm not great at using TradingView, I'm having to learn. All right, so we'll move this down. You can see this, everything's perfectly synced here across the platforms and we're filled. And you can see we did get our targets and stops identical on the two follower accounts. Let's take a look at the accounts dashboard again. We actually have five trades on right now, perfectly synced. Again, compared to other products with my window, you can actually see what's going on. You can see your target. Sorry, you can't see your target right now. What I'm saying, you can see your PL. You can see the PL for all the accounts. If you purchase the account risk manager features, you can actually see all of the statistics knowing how far you are from potentially blowing your account. You can set up daily goal and loss. You can cancel slash close trades using this button. Now these are actually pending orders buttons because it does see these targets and stops as a pending order being that it's trading view. Let's take a look at another possible trade, right? So let's just say you don't wanna trade with targets and stop losses. So I'm just gonna hit a buy right here. It's in. Let's move it up. Let's move it above the market, which fills the trade. Now we have no target, no stop. Let's go ahead and place our own. So we can do sell and we can do a sell down here. Now we just placed our own targets and stops. Now watch as I move them. Again, sync perfectly. Crossed all the accounts. We can hit the close button. Close button works perfectly. All orders are canceled and positions are closed. And even stop limit. So we could do create new order, select buy, stop limit, take profit, stop loss, click buy. As we move these around, again, everything is moved and synced perfectly. Here, we're good. Here, good. So just make sure, did you see how the order moved back to the correct location right there? Watch it again. Watch as I move the potential stop loss. When we move this around, now watch the potential stop loss, see how it moved it and then moved it back to the correct location. So again, that's resolving a critical bug between NinjaTrader and TradingView when you are using the take profit and stop loss feature and adjusting those before you get into the trade. And by the way, there's probably some hardcore TradingView users here, so I just wanna add one more thing. What, what we've been trying to do is place our trades and pre-plan our targets and stops, but with what I've built here in NinjaTrader, you can do that so easily. For instance, if I select a 20-point target and a 20-point stop, and I just hit sell click, look how I'm able to pre-plan my targets and my stops. And I can even see a risk-reward. So take a look at this. Here I've got a 0 0.5, 0 0.8 risk reward right in the chart window. So much easier than trading view. I'm able to pre-plan my target and my stop before I enter the trade. 
So I hope you'll consider my Enhanced Chart Trader platform. That's just one of many features built into this. Um, but I know some of you guys are like really hardcore trading view fans. So it might be asking a lot, but I hope you'll check it out. Another thing I want you guys to notice here is that I've got a new feature in the size column. This was not covered in the video that I released two weeks ago, so I'm gonna show you quickly. I'll cancel this pending sell limit by just hitting the yellow X down here. That's gonna cancel all the sell limits across all the accounts. You can see the same thing on TradingView here. So to set up a fractional ratio, we can now just scroll the mouse wheel so you can see we have half, one third, one fourth, or one fifth as options. So some of you are wanting to trade bigger size in your master account, smaller size in your follower accounts, no problem, it's now possible right here. And then you can also scroll up and do larger ratios. So for instance, if I was trading four lots in my master account, I would get two lots on this follower, and then here I would get one lot on this follower. One lot, two lots, four lots in the master. And it's all built in to handle different situations, right? Like if you do place two contracts here, it'll be one contract here, and then one contract here, because that's the minimum size. And the flip side, if you have a positive, like a two, and say a five, I place one contract on the master, I'll get two on the follower, and five on this follower. And I covered this in the last video, but the ratios are perfectly distributed across multiple targets, unlike other trade copier solutions. So just make sure you take note of that as well, because I'm putting a lot of detail into this. So that is the new fractional, we scroll down, it's the new fractional ratio feature has been added. Help me out, tell me in the comments, what did I miss? What do you guys like about this? What else do you wanna see? Because I can promise you, if you become a customer, I'll work closely with you to make sure that any other challenges are resolved across the integration between TradingView and NinjaTrader. Again, it's the only way to copy trades. If you're trading on the TradingView platform, and a lot of people like it because they like the charting and really, I guess, other features. I can't say I'm too familiar with it, but this is the premier trade copier solution for copying trades when you're trading your master account on the TradingView platform.